Welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. We're here at the Sky Place because we've got stuff to do. But first, I need to put on my good pants and my good shirt. I look absolutely ridiculous. Um, we're here to get another heart because we can. Uh, not feeling amazing, so I may need to rush off to the bathroom, but I hope not. Are they cooking? <laughs> it's a butt kicking outfit, bitch. <laughs> I love that pro TD sketch. So, you've arrived. What the hell are you wearing? I have many apples. <laughs> I don't think I would eat mushrooms with fruit, to be honest. Oh, right, there was a quest. <laughs> I forgot about that. Is this a pizza? Mm -hmm. hey. mm. Pocket change. Where everything costs hundreds of rupees, it's a bit of a shame that they're like, oh yeah, here's like. Actually, that's probably paying me back for the 20 rupees that I had to spend doing the quest. Heart container, please. Did he? I don't remember. It's been like a week. My memory doesn't go back that far. Alright. So, we've got some stuff to do. We, I, I would love to explore Kala. But, while it's on my mind, let's go figure out the puzzle with this tower. And I do also need to get some, unfortunately, some, um... I could probably upgrade more of my armor now that I think about it. I didn't paint it. I forgot to paint it. I should go do that, too. After stream. Uh, speaking of playing post-out-of-stream stuff, we're... Fast approaching the time when I'm going to have to play something else. Because it is, uh, somewhat close. The 25th. Where are those other markers? Oh, they're down here. Why did I mark these spots? I don't remember. I think I marked this for 
For Great Plateau stuff. I don't remember why I had this blue one marked. Armored Core. I'm excited to play Armored Core. Uh, there is... This. So I'd be interested in going down to look at that. There's a couple... There's a couple mar spots marked that we should go to at some point. Uh, I'm just not sure where the passage to the underground is. I guess it's here. Yeah, so I have to... I guess it, this isn't that far away from it. I've never played an armored core, so it's going to be interesting. I definitely want to try out a bunch of stuff. I'll try out what, how all the the leg types feel, whether or not I'm going to enjoy melee combat. It's going to be fun. I guess I could take the waterfall passage up, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, I should really upgrade. I guess I'm upgrading the helmet. Yeah. Well, anyway. So the thing I'm actually least interested in. I definitely upgrade this. Oh, but I'm distracted. Zora time. Let's go. How many weapons can we pick on our mech? Uh, four, I think. Um, one or two arm weapons and two shoulder weapons, I believe, is the way it works. And melee weapons have to be on your left arm. Um, but you can fire them all at once, which is a bit different than normal. I think most other Armored Core games have more weapons, but you cannot fire all of them at, at once. So I think normally it's like, oh, you got your your arm weapons and then your shoulder weapons. You know, there's probably a shrine up here, actually. I probably could have swung at them. Yeah, there is. I was wondering if there was an Octorok there. This seemed like an Octorok place. Five sort of had back weapons, right? Because, like, they weren't the same as back Like, they were still arm weapons, but effectively they they had the same functionality as the arm weapon, or as the, the back weapons. Um, this is removing the shoulder weapon, but again, you can fire all of your weapons at the same time, which is not the case in, almost, in old Armored Core, from what I understand. You fire your shoulder weapon and I think both of your arm weapons at the same time, but you had to switch between your arm. What the fuck? You see that little shit? Speaking of things that I have to do off screen, I have to do cooking off off camera at some point. We are getting pretty close to where I'm going. Uh, if I could just climb up one of these surfaces, I think we'd be good. And for that, we're gonna need you. Or we won't, because there's no rain. Exactly. Um, no, you had back weapons in 4. You had armor back weapons you had to swap between, but you could also equip a fifth shoulder weapon if you wanted to. Um, I don't know about 4. In 4 answer, I definitely didn't see arm, um, shoulder weapons being used a whole lot. Um, which is 
for Ant Armor Core for Ants are a little bit nostalgic for, because even though I've never played an Armor Core game, that was like all I knew about Armored Core for the longest time was for Answer. Because there was somebody that I used to watch that used to do Let's Plays that did a Let's Play of Armored Core for Answer, and it was interactive and it was cool. And we're gonna have to take a break on this little ledge right here. I don't know if I love them yet. Four answers and four and five all seem to have really weird stories. Like, I think the stories themselves are cool, but the way that they're told are really bizarre. Huh, I wonder if I can get up that waterfall or not. And is that above? No, it's not above the tower. Focus on the combat. Yeah! Like, they do world building, but I think it very, like, it's so inconsequential. I want to get up there. That looks so cool. Show don't tell. I don't know if it's show don't tell. I think it's a lot of telling, but like the tell, the tell that it does is not very substantial. <laughs> Hello. We're getting close to being able to upgrade our, uh, our weapon stash. You know, I kind of wonder, actually, is there a cave beneath this place? There is a cave. Um, I'm kind of hoping I can find a shrine that's closer to here. So I'm inevitably going to have to be doing some trial and error in this, like, I don't, because I don't think this cave is going to lead to where I want it to, where I want to go. Uh, but I'd very much like it to. Uh, maybe someone will show up and talk to me about this. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't get some hints. I'm going with no, judging on how there's no people here so far. There were people here last time I visited. Oh, it's because last time I visited, I came from outside. Okay. But I can get back out if I so choose. Okay, if something happened, Dad would tell us. I'll have to do hidden way. Yeah, that's it's not happening.
What's the Lurlin village stuff? Hmm. Not a lot of hints about the tower. There was a cave nearby. Let's check there, I guess. Yeah, I know, right? They're so thoughtful of them to adopt a lost Karak. I wonder if it's possible to set those spikes on fire before the rain is loaded in. Um, I don't think this cave is going to lead me where do I go. I really just wish I could get a closer shrine anytime I wanted to try this puzzle. But alas, no such luck. That's what I'm looking for. Long for a while. Why would I ever want that? It's so weird. There's a friend out there. You know, this cave doesn't really go where I want it to. I can climb the tower itself. I saw a wizard rope too, which is why I'm not going that way. They're annoying. <laughs> this uh this tower may take a while. Unfortunately. <laughs> trees Respond to that later. Oops, all trees, yeah. So I can maybe light these ones on fire because they're uh they're from the back and they're they're guarded from the rain. Otherwise, I'm not really sure I understand what to do. Now, let me just waste a ruby on that. Yes. I think I got one of them. 
I mean, I've got a lot of fire fruit. I could probably just brute force this. Maybe. It'll maybe work out. Okay. That's an idea. Why don't we just keep at it until it works out? We have a lot of flammable things, so we should be able to do it. Or it just doesn't work over here. Okay. Sort of foils that idea. But we have a lot of wood. Like, an obscene amount of wood. We could probably make a roof, and then with that roof, we should be able to set them on fire and not have them go out. have it will be long enough. It's okay. I mean, maybe. I actually can't tell. It might be long enough. It's just barely long enough. No, I think it's actually the opposite. I think it's just barely not long enough. That's fine. We've got longer pieces over here. My Switch does not like this area, I have to say. Like, Switch is like, hey, could you maybe not be <laughs> doing complicated physics things in, like, the most rainy area in the game? I'm like, but... But I'm busy. Unfortunately, this is made of wood, so... I'm not sufficiently covering those ones just yet. What about now? That looks good. tower. I'm not really sure what I want to do next. Uh, I mean, obviously, I want to find all the shrines, and I also want to try to visit all of the Sky Islands, because I'm fairly certain that I have not done that yet. Well, I mean, obviously, but... <laughs> like, I want to make sure that I get all the Sky Shrines, because I know that there's still 120 surface shrines, but that there's just now extra shrines. There's about, like, 30 extra shrines that are not on the surface. And so I want to make sure I visit enough Sky Islands. How do I get to you? I mean, I know how I get to you, obviously. I probably use some kind of a uh, hover vehicle, but... Oh, I could get up to you, though. And maybe I could build a hover vehicle. But I also kind of just want to visit the underground areas to see if I can collect my treasure maps. I want to visit the castle-looking island. That one to the lower right looks like it's another boss shrine. Bo boss island. Alright. Uh, we're not... Well, I guess... 
Might need, we might want this, but um. Yeah, so it looks like I have not been on most of these islands. Though maybe I don't need to be on most of them. I haven't been on most of these islands either, by the looks of it. Um, I've been to one of these boss islands, but I think I died. So maybe that didn't track. Them. Oh, no, no, I've been to this one. Okay. And yeah, so those are boss arenas. So I can write off all those as a boss arena. Hey, UK, how are you on this fine day? This, I think, is another one of those orbs. Is there, like, a tower near this? Yes, I can maybe get into that orb through the tower. Um, obviously, there's the mazes. Um, there's this, which could also be a boss arena, maybe. Although, there's a lot of these, like, very clearly boss arena islands. This is full map now. We have full map of the surface, any or the, uh, the above islands, anyway. Of course, I want to get up to the upper mazes here as well, and then these islands. But yeah, we can uh, we can start exploring the sky. It's funny with how much of this game's marketing was like sky based. That like the tutorial is the biggest, most involved sky area, and then maybe like this fair and sky area because there's like it's um, it's a storm. But, like otherwise. The fact that you can fly in this game is, like, not that necessary? I do want to enter there at some point. That could be a shrine, maybe? Yeah, because I don't think that's a boss, one of those. Have I been on those islands? Uh, yes, I was. It looks like I have been on those islands. So I don't need to worry about looking for a shrine there. I definitely want to get up to that island because, like, look at it. It's so cool. Could probably get there from, like, this island. chest here. Are we getting one of the sages stuff? Wait. Almost could have had a fish, man! I hate fishing in Zelda. <laughs> and we got a Snell, which I am, will definitely use for upgrading my ninja armor if I ever get that far. Oh, it's a treasure map. Lots well, more of a reason for me to explore over there. Which I definitely want to do. Yeah, there's this whole island. Which I probably could get to. There's no fish in the game. Exactly! <laughs> I don't think I have the energy requirements to let me get over there, but I definitely want to visit this at some point. But yeah, Sky Island. We've got all the maps, mapping done, so that's good. So I think next steps is we're gonna let's mark off our treasure maps and then I guess it's, it's it'll be time to start shrine hunting. But first we have a dragon. Dragon gonna chill the air around me. Let's preemptively put on some warm clothes. I even see the the ice cold breath, so it's definitely happening. <laughs> Let's 
Hello, Mr. or Mrs. Ice Dragon. Can I trouble you for a horn weapon? Does this work how it does? Well, I guess we're on the back of this dragon picking up weapon fuse materials. That's actually really cool. This will be fun for exploring the volcano area, I think. A long Durgan. And also, the Durgan might be heading for a hole, the hole that I was trying to get to. No, do I only get the horn? Okay, I was trying to get over there, though. Well, that was. Pretty successful, honestly. Ah, interesting. Shrine of Light nearby? Okay, well. Uh, if there's a Shrine of Light nearby, I'll find it once I hit the ground. Well, speaking of which, let's get our underground outfit going. Fifteen minutes to refresh. Interesting. Magma? Yeah, I think the first time I fell into a hole, like, I almost hit the fire dragon. Or I, I don't think it was the first time I fell into a hole, but the first time I almost fell into a hole. It was from, like, one of those... By down, I mean south. Yeah, that's what I was confused about, because I saw it up north, and I was like, well, that makes sense. So we're in, like, the, the fire... We're near the fire area. It looks like the fire area's dungeon might be beneath the ground and not up in the sky. So, like, it made sense to me. Oh, interesting. This co this connected up with my stuff to the north? Which maybe means that there's no shrines here. Maybe. Which would be a bit unfortunate, but uh, oh well. Okay, so... Why did I mark this as red? Oh, because I was trying to get to there. I'll put that there for future reference. Oh, interesting. Why is this part of the map mapped? <laughs> okay. I'd like to go that way, I think. After we, uh, we get a little bit of rock. Have a, oh yeah, we've got plenty of stuff for hammering. Okay. Getting close to the lava, bad idea. Makes sense, but duly noted. <laughs> Or 
or a potion. I probably have that potion, to be honest, but it's fine. We're here to explore. There's a mine here? Cool, cool. Maybe we'll find a chest. Huh, the rock on my long stick broke? Okay. Okay. Maybe I wasn't paying attention to what was on the edge of it. But I definitely thought it looked like there was a boulder on it. These mines usually have chests in them, I think, right? Usually. A lot, a lot of them did, it anyway. Maybe we'll find a chest here. They also often have stuff to mine with. this stuff by the time we get out here. I do always enjoy exploring the underground. Alright, do I have bomb fruits? Hell yeah, I do! Oh, I probably broke a piece of zonite that I didn't see. Oops. For, yeah, whatever. We all know what I mean. No bomb flower. Right, I think I've been down here as as much as I can. I don't see any more Zonite locations to break. But uh, I guess we'll follow the conveyor belt and see where this takes us. Yeah, there's more Zonite up there. That's where the mine chest is. If we're lucky, we'll get the, uh, the third piece of light armor out of it. And then maybe then the, the actual light it gives off will be more useful. <laughs> This was where I saw a wall. Another, yeah, another of these walls of Zonite. Yeah, I'll make sure I don't heck up again. Yeah. Alright, let's go see what chests we've got for this mine. We'll take a, a few rusty weapons for hammer for temporary hammers, since I've lost a couple hammers. I could also, on my extra durable stick, add a boulder onto this, I think, right? And then I can use this for mining. Alright, what do you got for me? Twenty crystals. That's as good as anything. Huh. 
So I've been um, playing a lot of Cassette Beasts recently, and that game rules. Like, I kind of wish I was streaming it, and I guess maybe if it ever gets a sequel, I will. Like, it's such a good game. If you love Pokemon-like games, you will love Cassette Beasts. It is just so good. <laughs> Boy, red boys. Black boys, rather. No, oh, I need those. And I also need your horn, because I need that to upgrade my, uh, my hood. Oh, hello. I don't know if he's coming back. He's on a horse. <laughs> well, uh, I guess while I'm waiting for him to get his ass back up here... him I do need more black bokoblin stuff but I'm not really willing to go chasing after him <laughs> three hundred we have exactly enough to get the last piece of uh, anti gloom equipment which is nice I'll have to level it off, off stream probably. Is that another? Is this like considered the same mine shaft, or is this a? This is a different mine altogether. More points for us. Hello? Where are you guys shooting at? Okay, so I can't shoot the big the the big light things just yet. Cause I'm still upgrading the light armor and I still need my big to reserve basically all my big lights for that. Well, we're heading this way because we want to get down to that light. How do I know that's there? Because I've been to a shrine in the surface. Okay. Probably could do more mining, but I could also do that off camera. I don't know. With a game like this, it's hard to say, like, what do I do on stream? What do I do off stream? Because like, there's so much stuff to do. That impassable wall. Where are the where's the water from the surface? Okay, I am coming up on a piece of water. So this probably we're gonna need to navigate around. But I could also See if I can't you UFO up top. I have 400 of these, and I will never need 400 of these. I can toss a few here and there. I want to save them, but like... I'm not likely to need them again for upgrades because I've already spent them on upgrades for materials that I have. And the amount that I have is like, I've got so many, I'm never gonna 
run out of this for upgrade materials. Which is good. <laughs> Might need 400 of them later. Um, based on what I've already upgraded with, I'm that's not likely. <laughs> 